Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Alicia and in today's video we're going to be talking about Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahirin. So with all book reviews I tend to read the synopsis and this is no exception. However, there's no real synopsis to read. So I'm just going to read what's on the back and then we'll get into my thoughts. So on the back it says, Bound as one to love, honor, or burn. A witch and a witch hunter thrust into holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end. A stake and a match. So, that sounds interesting in itself. Let's talk about this one. So let's talk about Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahirin. This in itself, not a bad size, but upon looking at the page numbers, uh, 519 pages this was, and I loved it altogether. There was a lot going on in this one, and first of all, can we talk about the a witch and a witch, witch hunter thrust into holy matrimony? We do know and you do understand that holy matrimony is like them being married, right? Like they got married, a witch and a witch hunter. How do you think that plays out at home? Hi, honey. I came home and I did my job today and I burned three witches at the stake. Oh, that's great, honey. I killed two of your men. Does that how that is that how that goes? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe there's a lot of secrets going on and that's exactly what's going on here so the main character Lou or Louise as she is sometimes called is someone who is in hiding we I know that she's hiding from someone or something and I won't give it away because I think you should read this book it's really good I loved it I was a little skeptical going in because it does start out a little slow for me, but as the story goes on, then it picks up and you get more of the story. Uh, Lou does not dress the way that she should. Hey, my cat is hiding under the tree and he's being, he's being mischievous. Um, but Lou, she does not dress as she normally should or would, I guess. Um, it's kind of like one of those, it seems like she ran away from home, she's in hiding and she just, she does what she needs to to get by. So if she has to sweet chalk a, sweet talk the baker into giving her a cinnamon roll, then she's gonna be doing some sweet talking. Uh, this one also has a lot of mystery and things going on. There's a huge plot twist at the end that explains what happens on earlier in the book. I did say that there is a wedding, so there is a... It's not going to be any, like, grand scheme you planned it out for months wedding. It's just a something happens, you're forced into getting married. The minister or the priest or whoever's in charge of the church with the witch hunters um, tells you you are now married and you get to live your life and you live in this this castle full of witch hunters and they don't know you're a witch. Well, um, that's awkward, right? So, yeah, I, I mean, where do you go from there? What, I mean, what happens? Because now you have a whole thing to upheld and now you have to kind of hide while you're in hiding. <laughs> so now you're double hiding. Is that a thing? Can we do that here? She sure can. So yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of magic and mystery and 
plot twist and oh shit, I didn't see that coming. There's that kind of a plot twist in here. And um, I really enjoyed it. I really did. I'm looking forward to reading the rest of this series. I hope to get to it soon as it, this has now been marked as a I need to finish it series. The second book in this series, and I have a little picture on the back, that is book two. It's called Blood and Honey. And then the third book, I believe, has a silver cover with, also with the snake, and it's called Gods and Monsters, I think. I will leave the titles and links in the description. So when I was going through this, I thought that it was all from Lou's perspective, but as I go through and kind of flip through it now, a lot of it is through Lou's perspective, but you do get um, a couple of chapters where it is from Reed's perspective. So Lou is the witch and Reed is the witch hunter. He's the one that, um, I don't, I don't want to say what it, what happens because it, it could be a spoiler. Um, just know that something happens between Lou and Reed and that's why, um, the, I forget his name. No, um, I'm trying to find the name real quick. No. Uh, I think his name is Monsieur Bernard. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's his name, but he's the one that's in charge of the church and the witch hunters. He is the one that tells them this is how this is going to go. And in order to not be like punished or dealt with for your crime, then you will marry this this kid over here, Reed, the witch hunter, and that will be that. And then he hopes that that will kind of set her in her place, so to speak, and things ensue from there. Um, there's a lot of lies and deceit and information that is given and there's a plot and there are allies and there are enemies there's all of the things and like I said I was skeptic going in I didn't know if I was gonna like this one and then towards the end I loved it so much that I gave it five out of five stars and again I look forward to reading the rest of this series I highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up already and I look forward to reading the rest of the series. Well, that is all for me in this video, guys. If you have read the book Serpent and Dove, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you liked it or if you didn't like it. Um, or if you have a favorite character or if you've read the entire series. Leave me a comment about any of this. Um, but yeah. I rated this 5 out of 5 stars. I look forward to reading the rest of the series and I hope that you guys will pick it up and give it a try. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified for new videos. I hope to see you in the next one and I will see you guys later. Bye!